Today is my review of the NSXSU 8 Rainbow Pencils Jumbo, which were from Amazon.ca. I ordered them in Canada last August in the year 2023. At the time, they were 15% off, which was only $13.98 for a total of $16. That's a total of only $2 a pencil. They're pretty large. And I have to use the larger pencil sharpening hole in this sharpener here. They won't fit in all pencil sharpeners, but they are very nice. They're fairly easy to sharpen if you can find the correct size sharpener, and they sharpen to a nice point. The lead is fairly hard, and it doesn't crack or crumble that easily, and it holds a point for quite a while and can hold a very sharp point. In general, they have an interesting texture to use, and I enjoy them as a part of my overall colored pencil collection. Pencil crayons is the term from Canada, so I might be using that as well. These colored pencils are really fun because they have a lot of very random color to them. I've been getting a lot of different colored pencils that are multicolored and enjoying them. These pencils are particularly odd, however, because the mix of colors in some cases is very strange, whereas the other multicolored pencils I've gotten seem to be a little more thought out about the color mixes. However, because the color mixes here were so odd, they were different than the other rainbow pencils I've already gotten, and therefore they're really very fun. One of them looks a lot like fire, and another one is more purple shades. Some of them have more matchy colors, and some of them have very interesting opposite colors. Like one has orange and green in the same pencil, which gives very toxic, acidic, very off-putting results, but at the same time, they are very interesting. As you can see, I'm doing a sketchbook page here of some random different sketches to do my initial first impressions and tryouts of them. Unfortunately, the very top of the sketchbook page was out of frame, so you couldn't see some of the swatches that I did at the top. I've been working on this video for quite some time and have been using these pencils for longer. It was originally supposed to be a first impressions video, but instead I ended up taking so long to finish it, but using these pencils so much that I have to say it's a longer review, seeing as it's been so long since August. I do find them really fun and I pick them up randomly just to use them. The leads, as I said, are fairly hard and fairly dry feeling, except that they can be a lot of fun. You can also use them to sketch with and use them with mixed media, such as painting over them with watercolor or gouache, and I find that I can use them fairly easily and well with other colored pencils. These examples here are using only the NSXSU colored pencils. It's a kind of strange name that you can't actually pronounce, and I'm not exactly sure why they're named that, considering you can't even say it with a normal human mouth, which I think is a weird decision to name something, something that's basically unpronounceable to a human being. However, it was a good deal, and I do think they're good quality. The black wood of the pencil is a strange quality, but the beautiful contrast between the bright colors and the black of the barrel is actually quite visually appealing, which is actually fairly inspiring. Sometimes visually appealing or cute art supplies or things like that are useful just because they inspire you, so there is some value to that as well. I'm actually using the appearance of the dragon shining through the page here and kind of just tracing over a dragon I'd drawn previously just with the rainbow pencil to see the look of it. I do think it can be quite fun and interesting using multicolored pencils this way and after I started doing so I started improving using multicolored lines even better in my regular colored pencil artwork by using more multiple colored pencils including strange color mixes together and I think overall it's helped bring some inspiration and fresh freshness to my work and I like to do mixed media and lots of sketches including sketches in colored pencil and using mixed media with colored pencil. So these are just fun to have with my overall colored pencil collection and they aren't incredibly expensive but I wouldn't say they're incredibly cheap however because they're large and the lead is very very thick it seems to be even more worth the money as I've barely used up any of their length and I've actually been using them quite a bit since last August. So they seem like they're going to last a long time so you really get your money's worth. I'll ask you to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell if you're really enjoying my content. Another thing to know is that they don't layer exceptionally well, although they do still layer, 
they work differently in different papers as all art supplies do so I advise you do paper tests. I found they get really pale on certain papers and they're darker on other papers. It can be quite a difference between different papers. However, they never get truly extremely dark. The darkest tones I can get with them by pushing quite hard is not as dark as many colored pencils get to. So I do advise you don't consider using them entirely alone all the time and mix them with other colored pencils. Just a single Faber-Castell Polychromos Black that I end up using in with the artwork at the end of this video here made a big difference to me. A nice dark rich black to get proper contrast can make all the difference. I also think that you never have to use just one brand or one type of art supply in isolation most of the time. This video is more of a challenge trying to just focus on these pencils and not a bunch of other things. However, I do think that the best case scenario is to figure out which art supplies you can use together to get the best of all the different worlds. So for example, the creativity and colors of these is really fun to use. Oh, the other thing to note is that I started doing a window light fast test for these, but it won't be completed for an exceptionally long time because I forgot to put them up for quite a while. And I'm going to do at least a year in my Canadian window to check. So I have no idea how light fast they are. There's absolutely nothing listed and I doubt very much that they're light fast. So expect them to be more just for fun and not for professional for sale client work. They are however lots of fun as I said and you can make them work fairly decently. This paper tends to be pretty good for most colored pencils even though it's a cheap Dollarama sketchbook so I thought that these would work well on it. I do find I like these pencils on this particular Dollarama sketchbook and I don't like these pencils on extremely smooth paper but that's true for most colored pencils. They get exceptionally pale on very on a lot of my very smooth papers but each paper works very differently and this is true for all art supplies so as I said do paper tests. I do paper tests and I take notes and I think it's very very helpful to do that and it's something I have to advocate for basically constantly in all my videos. Another thing to note is that when you're using these you will find that because they lay down in a certain way that's kind of pale and a bit hard to do. I find I have a tendency to try to push a little too hard with them which makes me err on the side of hurting my wrist a little when I use them because I'm always wanting them to be a little more rich and vibrant than they actually show up. However, if you just focus on relaxing your wrist and take your time and layer them up slowly, you won't have this problem. But some colored pencils that are a bit on the harder side, I find I have to put a little extra effort into intentionally relaxing my hand and wrist so I don't clutch them too tightly or push too hard. And these are pencils that I definitely firmly put on the list of you need to be careful that you're not pushing too hard and hurting your arm and wrist while you're using them. I think Crayola is another great example of a pencil that's quite hard that you do that for. Faber-Castell Polychromos is on the hard side of pencils, but I would say they're softer than these pencils, which I put at softer than Crayola's, but harder than Faber-Castell Polychromos, if that helps anyone. They're definitely much harder than many other colored pencils, and I think that that has a good effect as well because you can also be able to do softer lines as long as you're remembering to relax your hands and not clutch too hard or push too hard and because you can also keep a sharp point way longer for fine details and in addition I think that the leads on these pencils will last an incredibly long time because they are on the harder side. As you can see, I'm doing a page of very ancient creatures. Off screen, I'm looking at a paleontological reference book in order to take inspiration. Although I'm not copying any of the pictures directly and I'm changing the poses and other things, I'm also not focusing on extreme accuracy. I'm just doing a nice fun sketchbook page. It's representational, not exact, so the sizes aren't correctly to scale and things aren't directly like on the right plane and they're not like correct because trilobite should be on the bottom not floating in the middle so it's not a literal representation. All these animals are from the Cambrian period and are extremely ancient animals from over 500 to about 490 million years ago and they're not the correct scale as I said. I'm connecting everything together with some beautiful bubbles. I think it looks really good compositionally to add flowing lines of 
various sized shaped circles together and I think things are more peaceful connected that way and I find it very enjoyable. Once again, that's all for this video. If you like my videos, please remember to like, subscribe, and turn on that notification bell to all notifications so you will know when a new video comes up. I aim for new videos every Wednesday, but sometimes life happens and things are delayed. I hope that you enjoyed this video and will see you with another one very soon.